Good morning. My name is Wilma van Staden and I will be talking to you about the development of online courses as innovative mediation tools for environmental sustainable education. During the last couple of years, e-learning has transformed from formal online course delivery to using various technology and applications to deliver content and teach skills online in a formal and informal setting. This multimedia environment of learning is now a reality for all educators. However, even if one uses various mediating tools, the importance of a good structured online course with a sound conceptual framework is essential. This must also be aligned with a dedicated educators and support team to ensure co-engaged social learning in the context of environmental sustainable development. So, where does one start to develop such a course? How do we bridge the digital divide between the disadvantaged and the advantaged? The communities in the rural areas and the city communities. Is it possible to utilize e-learning platforms to reach people and communities? Is it possible to use e-learning to ensure that one, no one is left behind and give voices to those that until now have not been heard? I will be drawing on the two online courses that I was involved in the development of. Both courses aim to train trainers aligned with UNESCO's sustainability goals. The Monty for Food online course is a course built on the already existing face-to-face -face Monty for Food Trainers of Trainers course. This online course aims to increase access and usage of the Water Research Commission's material and information. The online course was developed in such a way that it is engaging for the participants and support them to retain and apply the course information practically. The course is an open access course and any person can browse through the entire course, download the presentations and even have access to the assignments for each module. If a user wishes to obtain certification, they need to register. The second course is the UNESCO Sustainability Starts with Teachers online course. This online course is for teacher educators and TVET educators. The focus is on an action oriented approach to transformative learning in the teacher education and TVET institutions. The program encourages participants to put transformative education and learning towards sustainable development at the centre of educational work. Participants are chosen by UNESCO to participate in the online course and they have to register online to have access to this course. I would like to mention that both these online courses are part of two well-established projects that are built on sound conceptual frameworks. The knowledge content and flow between the participants, facilitators and other actors within the learning system were already established. These foundations are important for the success of an online course. Both online courses are founded on strong learning-led change and knowledge dissemination principles supported by established materials, resources, content and practical components. Once you have a course content and understand the interactive pedagogical processes needed to ensure critical thinking development, you can start to outline your objectives and your course structure and then identify the learning processes within the course. To start, you have to look at how you will achieve your outcomes. How will your course ensure that the participants will obtain the necessary sustainable development competencies and knowledge at the end of an online course? If you can identify the needs of your participants before the development of a course, it would make a huge difference on how you decide to design your course. What is your participants' data needs? Their device preferences, their digital literacy, including computer literacy levels, and their available time. For example, with a sustainable start of teachers' online course, participants require data to participate. Many students use their mobile phones instead of their laptops because that is what they had available. Who will provide the data? And how will you provide access to the course? 
Some of the participants also work during the day and they could not participate in the 11 o'clock webinars. How do you assist these learners and also to encourage their participation during the course? Once you understand the needs of your participants, you can then focus on the course designer and developer, namely an e-learning consultant. It is essential that the e-learning consultant understands the pedagogical processes and environmental sustainable development aspects of your course. This course designer must have clear and sound understanding of how to design the course, add the content and maintain the course. He or she will also have to work with a company that hosts and develops the site. In my experience with the development of a Monday for Food online course, the course developer needs to have a clear and structured outlay of a course that needs to be communicated through to the web designer. Otherwise, delays in the site development can occur. The designer or e-learning consultant also needs to keep good relations with a site designer, graphic designer and the data free site host. It is essentially important to have a course designer that understands the interactive learning-led community-based change that ESD course requires. Online learning needs to promote participation in various ways such as forums, tasks to be completed, assignments to be uploaded, PowerPoints to be watched is also important. The course developer must also understand the purpose of feedback and using the course data for research purposes. If you use the wrong type of format for an embedded task in WordPress, one might not be able to retrieve the detailed information of the participants for that task. During the registration process of a sustainability starts with teachers course, I met many participants via WhatsApp and email. With my background as a computer science teacher in a rural community many moons ago, I understand how difficult and sometimes daunting technology can be. I had enough patience and understanding to be able to support and assist these participants. The support during the registration process and during the course is essential to ensure successful participation and completion of a course. The next step is to train and support your course facilitators. The course facilitators also need to be able to work in the back end of WordPress and have enough computer literacy skills to manage a student's forums and uploaded assignments. They have to manage webinars, participate in the forum and support the participants. An online course facilitator's role is quite different than that of a face-to-face -face educator. A facilitator requires online education pedagogical knowledge. He or she must be able to facilitate active learning, coordinate social, social interaction online, and manage the course at the same time. Even sometimes, online course participants are also completing the course outside normal working hours, and the facilitators and even the course developer will sometimes need to provide support at unexpected times. Another component of an online course is the administration side. The course administrator might be the person that manages the admin and finances of a project, but also things like the data distribution and the list of registration. Good communication is essential between all of these components to have a successful online course. So what are my recommendations for the development of an ESD online course framework? To allow as many people to join the online course, make the, the data reversible version of a site. Participants can use the data free site through their mobile phones or on their laptops by creating a mobile hotspot. Even the YouTube videos and downloadable PowerPoints on the site are accessible free by the participants. The data free site also needs technical management but your course developer or e-learning consultant will be able to manage that. Any changes made on the main site will also have to be made on the data-free site. Also make sure your site is mobile friendly. Some of the participants mentioned that the PDF documents were difficult to read on the, their phones. Maybe consider an audible version of the documents for the, these participants to access easier. 
Use different conceptual learning tools. Include different medias of learning materials, such as YouTube videos, PowerPoints, voice notes, interactive forum discussions. Listen to your participants. Cover one that can help you to make your course excellent. If the sustainability starts with teachers, or some of the participants' problems or suggestions help me to ensure the course flowed better and participants can access the feedback easier. Build networks and support systems for the participants. Always remember to focus on learner-led innovative practices and provide any support necessary, even if it's just a knowledge to the participants. Once the participants had registered sent me some pictures of where she lives in Zambia, and by establishing that connection, I know that whenever the participant is struggling and even might want to give up, she will know that she can always contact me. Support is the key to success. So to recap, you need a sound conceptual framework to support learning, good existing content, a competent course designer that understands the pedagogical processes and the active learning led change, needed for environmental sustainable development innovations. Use different means of communication and engage your participants. Online course requires exceptional technical support, both of the participants and the team. The technical support needs to be patient and understand the course participants. Build networks and to ensure continuous learning and knowledge dissemination. At the end, we develop these courses to make a difference we need to focus on the participants' needs, build a great online course support team and make sure that we design the course in such a way that we can reach the rural areas, the disadvantaged students, the students with little computer skills, basically everyone. Let our online learning make voices be heard and minds touched. Thank you for listening to my presentation, and I'm looking forward to discuss online learning solutions with you further during the panel discussion. I would like to take the opportunity to thank the Amazi for Food and the Sustainability Starts with Teachers online course team. Without you, this would not have been possible. This is Wilma van Staden, environmental education researcher and e-learning consultant, signing out. Thanks.